Hey, how's it going? My name is Dan Catrona. We're here at MDY Radio's new headquarters, which is absolutely amazing. We can't wait for everyone to see it. And I'm so excited to see it because for the first time, I am looking at the photos that are decorating the entire new studio. So these are photos that uh, were specifically commissioned over the past eight years by MBY Radio and I shot specifically for MBY Radio. You may have seen many of them on Facebook and Instagram as little things and little screenshots, but now they're live and in person and in this world of uh, not much print, I'm so thrilled to be able to share these with you and for these to be a permanent fixture at MBY Radio. Um, so let's show you around. Let's take a look at some of these prints. So this is one of my favorite ones, John Prime. Rest in peace, he passed away this past year due to COVID. So um, this means a lot to many MBY Radio listeners too because this, he's been a fixture and a staple on the radio station for years. And uh, it's just, you can see the life on his face. You can see the years lived and the soul in his voice matches the wrinkles on his face. So um, this is a great print. I'm so happy to see this big. I can't wait for everyone to see this in person. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Yeah. That's what John Batiste did to me when I was taking this picture. So when you're in the pit, photographers around you, you're waiting for that moment, right? You're waiting for any singular thing that separates your photos from everyone else's photos because there's a lot of great people right next to you shooting the same person. So you're like, what's, what's gonna be the difference that makes that shot? And it's kind of crazy, every once in a while, the connection that there is with the performer and the people in the front. It's like you make that connection with the audience and then every once in a while, that performer will make that connection with you and it's almost eerie, right? Because this photo, I'm there in the pit, shoulder to shoulder, hot and sweaty, and I'm looking through just waiting, and he's kind of scanning the crowd, and then for a split second, I swear he just looks right in your lens, and it's like his eyeballs are connecting with your eyeballs, and you click, and you're just like, oh my God, I just had a moment with John Baptiste. So, um, hopefully this picture conveys that moment because this was a very emotional set. Uh, end of the day at Newport Folk Festival. The lighting at the end of the day at Newport is amazing. Sun is setting, you can see the sun on his face. And uh, you know, there was Mavis Staples on stage. There was all these legends on stage with him. And uh, it was a really, really great set. And it's, uh, I love this photo. All right, this is Brittany Howard from Alabama Shakes. and. I just was talking about connecting with musicians and I love this photo because I'll always remember I was side stage shooting her and out of the thousands of people, for some reason, for some reason, at the end of this set, I swear to God, I'll, we can show you the pictures after because you can read her lips, right? For some reason, she's looking around smiling. She looks over totally side stage at me and just says, oh, Thank you. Write to me for some reason. I don't know. And that's not this moment, but I do love this picture and this set because it reminds me of that moment and having that connection with these musicians. All right, this print is Lone Bellow, and they, you may have heard them many times on MBY Radio. And uh, Laurel actually interviewed them at Newport Folk Festival. And after the interview, I was able to steal them away for a little portrait session. And that's the cool thing about Newport is there's all these little nooks and crannies and secret passageways um, that we're, that there's spots for some great pictures to be made. So uh, we went down and found this little spot down this long hallway and there was this little shaft of light. And I had them line up in the shaft of light so that you know one wasn't creating a shadow on the next. So that way he was getting the light and she had light on her face and he had light on his face. And then they were just standing there like, okay, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to do something like this? And he just did that. And that was the moment. It was like a rock star pretending to be a rock star. And I feel like that's what makes the shot because it actually ends up being totally legit. There's no pretending. Those guys are the best. So I really love this shot and this moment we were able to have with them. All right, I really love this photo because it's of Jim James of My Morning Jacket. I always loved My Morning Jacket. Hearing his voice live is 
incredible. You have to hear it. Um, but also, he had a special guest, Kermit the Frog. So this was a very surprising moment where you have one of the best voices ever with Kermit the Frog singing Rainbow Connection. And there was lots of kids in the audience, older ones that like remember this song. It was like such a all things for all people moment. Everybody was laughing, crying. It was like such an emotional moment. And to see Kermit the Frog live was actually pretty amazing to see the actual people behind the scenes down here moving his little hands and how realistic it was. Um, this was a pretty cool moment and a very famous Newport moment. You've probably seen this moment before, so um, I'm glad we were able to capture it. All right, I love this print because Brandy Carlisle is like a core MBY artist. And the cool thing about this, this was 2014. Brandy was not pre-Grammy, pre-household name. And this is Brandy in the tent at Newport being Brandy. And this is like, I had never even heard of her at this point, but she had her core fans going bananas. And uh, once you see her once, that's it, you're hooked. So from this point on, I personally became a huge Brandy fan and uh, millions of others followed after that. So this is a, it's a cool shot of Brandy in the early part of her rise to fame. Dolly Parton, what else is there to say? Living legend, this is like a part of Newport folk history is when Dolly Parton made an appearance. And this was an amazing set. Had Brandy Carlisle, Cheryl Crow uh, singing, Brandy and Cheryl singing, I Will Always Love You. Like, I don't think there was anyone not crying during that song. So um, what a great legendary Newport moment from a legend. So uh, it's nice to see this represented here. All right, so we're wrapping up our sneak peek of the photo show here at MBY Radio's new headquarters. Uh, it's been amazing to show you guys around and see some of the moments that have been curated and distilled from eight years of making these images for MBY Radio. You've seen these images before on Facebook, on Instagram. Now, when there's events this summer, hope, hopefully you can come by and come take a look at the full collection live. We have Valerie June. We have uh, Jeff Tweedy from Wilco, many others. Um, and we're closing it out here at MBY Radio's new main studio um, with Rodrigo and Gabriela, some of the best artists you can see in person live. They convey so much energy without saying a word, just with their music, and it's really amazing. So I'm really happy that uh, they chose to put these on, on each side of the window. So many thanks to everyone at MBY Radio, PJ, Jess, Joe, everybody that has uh, helped me make these images and, and brought me into Newport and uh, thanks to the Mass Cultural Council for making this show possible. Um, it's amazing to see these prints uh, in real life. And uh, when you get a chance, come on down. So thank you very much. Thanks for having me. And uh, talk to you soon.